This second video guide in the basic series will provide tips on selecting features when using Design Spark Mechanical. Being able to select features effectively and accurately is very important. The 3D manipulation tools within Design Spark Mechanical, namely Pull, Move, and Fill, all start with the selection of a feature in the model. Building skills in this area will set a good foundation for successful creative designing. Before we get started on selecting, let's have a quick look at the spin, pan, and zoom tools. These will help you access the model and make selecting easier. The default settings mean that you can spin the model by pressing the middle mouse button and dragging, whilst shift with middle mouse button and drag will pan the model, and control with middle mouse button and vertical dragging will zoom. Zooming can also be achieved by scrolling the middle mouse button. Default settings for these tools can be changed in the Options navigation menu. When working in the design screen, don't forget to check the text display in the design frame at the bottom right hand side. The two displays will confirm what you are hovering over and also what has been selected. In line with other applications, the control key can be held down to multiple select or deselect items. Deselecting all can be quickly achieved by either clicking in white space or pressing the escape key. If you need to select hidden features and you don't want to keep revolving the model, you can simply press Control and then scroll, and the display will sequentially highlight any features below the point where you are hovering. When the feature you want to select is highlighted, just click to select it. One specific point worth noting is the way the axes of holes are displayed. When you hover over a hole, its axis will be displayed to enable selecting. The axis will stay displayed, even if not selected, for up to three holes at a time, after which the first axis will disappear, leaving the three latest ones displayed. Various types of features can be selected, and by double-clicking, we can select things in a more sophisticated way. For example, when selecting an edge, double-clicking will select a loop of edges, if there is more than one edge loop available, double-clicking again will cycle through the loop options until you have the one you want. Similarly, when selecting faces, double-clicking will select any faces which are in a tangent chain. Another useful feature is Zoom Extents. If no feature on the model is selected, Zoom Extents will zoom to set the model to fill the design screen. If a feature is selected, however, Zoom Extents will zoom in on that feature only. To achieve Zoom Extents, you can use the tool on the toolbar, or simply use the shortcut key Z. Notice that Zoom Extents will zoom the model without changing its orientation whereas the Home command will reset the model to its original orientation. Box Select can be used to select multiple features, or indeed the whole model. Selecting in this way works differently, depending on which way you drag the box. Left to right will select features once they are fully within the box. Right to left will select any feature the box touches. Selecting the whole model can also be done by triple-clicking. Hopefully, you will now have enough awareness of selecting to be able to develop and manipulate models successfully.